Impala Films presents Haunted, the audio drama. Season 2, Episode 2, Prom Night. Part 4 of 4. Written by Jamie Evans. So what did you do then? We phoned an ambulance. We didn't know exactly what else to do. You should have seen her, James. This woman couldn't even look after herself. Imagine the hell she must have gone through, having her mind constantly toyed with by her own adoptive daughter. To the point where she can't even function as a human being anymore. Damn it. Are you okay? I just never realized that their evil extended this far. I knew that I didn't have a good time at the orphanage I grew up in, but... But this... So this Little Hopes company owns the orphanage in Baltford too? Yes. I think they own several across the country. And all of them are involved in this Project Indigo thing? Maybe. Probably. I I don't know. We don't even know what Project Indigo really is. We know Isabella Marwood is the architect of it, and we know it involves experimenting on children. But what experiments exactly, and to what end? What possible reason could they have? Maybe we need to pay a visit to Isabella Marwood and make her talk. And now you sound like him. So Carl knows about Project Indigo, right? I don't think he knows all of it, but he definitely remembers some of it. Hey, listen, James. I know you're upset, but I think you need to slow down drinking. If everything really is going to go down tonight at prom, we need you level-headed. I'm fine. Hey, please, for me... Thank you. So, what do we do next? I guess... I guess we're going to prom. Brilliant. In that case, I need to find something to wear. Are you coming? Where? To buy a suit. I'm already wearing a suit. Look, shirt, waistcoat, tie. What more do you want? I meant a suit that wasn't raggedy as all hell, but fine. I'll meet you guys later. See you later, Dan. I can't believe we're going to prom. I mean, we're going to stop two psychopathic, superpowered teenage girls from killing each other, but still, prom! I'm getting some sleep. This isn't exciting to you at all? Aren't you excited for your first prom? For what? Annoying chart topping music, tacky decorations, and a bunch of people half my age awkwardly fumbling with one another. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> Get some sleep. James. What? Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? You have a long and complicated history with Carl. I thought it might be difficult for you. We were friends once. Now we're very different people. He's putting Ruby and everyone else in that school in danger. Are you okay? Why do you ask? No more episodes of The Signal? No, nothing. Nothing about this case has triggered it. Interesting. And how do you feel about potentially seeing Carl? You haven't seen him since that night in Greenvale. I'll be fine. Promise. Get some sleep. She's late. Where'd she go? Your guess is as good as mine. When I woke up, there was just a note saying she'd meet us here. Nice suit, by the way. You don't think the bow tie's a bit much? Bow ties are cool. I'm not sure about those skinny fit trousers. <laughs> They're fashionable. Really? I think you've just been skipping leg day. <laughs> Damn. I never thought I'd be getting workout sass from you. I'm full of surprises. You aren't the only one. Wow. Bloody hell, Abs. You look amazing. I feel a little self-conscious, to be honest. Here, let me help you. Honestly, Abs, you look amazing. Hello. Hi. Here, a little Dutch courage to help you feel a little less self-conscious. Thanks. (coughs) (coughs) Fuck me. That's strong stuff. Well, it's a special occasion. Thought I'd take a break from the usual corner store piss. It is a lovely dress. Thank you. Um, Abigail, do you want to go and dance? Can we? I'm not your bloody dad. Of course. Go. 
Just keep an eye out. Are you not going to come in and dance? I'm going to wait for Carl and Ruby. You two have fun. OK. See you later. Wow. OK, I do have to admit, this feels pretty special. I know. And we're what? Only seven years late? Better late than never, as they say. But keep an eye out for Grace or for Isabella Marwood. You're always working, aren't you? Not always. Just, you know, when there's danger. Well, I can't remember the last time we weren't in danger. <laughs> I know. You really love it, don't you? This life, the adrenaline, the mystery, the risk. You make me sound like I'm a danger junkie. Well, aren't you? Dan. Yeah? Shut up and dance. Okay. You're more beautiful tonight than you ever were And I'd be lying If I denied that I love you from Remember that voting for the prom king and queen closes in just a few moments. So make sure you get your slips in. Is everything taken care of? Yes, Mother Marwood. Are you sure this will work? Positive. Grace may think she's above everybody else, but her deep-seated need to be loved by those around her is textbook. Forgive me for questioning you, Mother, but why have the girls fight at all? Why not take both of them and continue the experiments? Because this is the experiment, Theo. Only the strongest candidates will do. Weakness cannot be tolerated. You know that. Of course, Mother. I apologize. Oh, James Hunter's little pet here. He can't be far behind. Do you want me to take care of them? No. Leave them. They provide an interesting variable in the experiment. Keep an eye out for Carl Trevino. I expect he'll put in an appearance tonight as well. Yes, Mother. But I love you more tonight than I ever did before. Why am I not surprised to see you here, old friend? We need to talk. Sorry, old chap. No time. I need answers. I know you do. But you won't get them from me. I'm sorry, James, but I'm doing this for your own good. You need to remember on your own. That's the only way for you to truly understand. Now, if you don't mind, we have a teenage girl to kill. And I need words with Isabella Marwood. Ruby, I'm begging you, please don't do this. It's me or her. I see that now. No, it doesn't have to be this way. Yes, it does. Now, don't make a fuss, okay, old chap? No sense in standing against the inevitable. Now, let's go and watch the prize fight, shall we? Is anybody out there, anybody listening, please tell me how to stop this. See that. What are they going to do? I don't know exactly. Yo, 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 yo! Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially time to announce this year's King and Queen of the Prom! <laughs> Well, 
I've got you. Remember that I am on Bandcamp, YouTube, and Spotify. So please do subscribe. My mom is starting to ask for rent. Let's go! Woo! You guys have spent the last hour dropping your votes into these ballot boxes. And now, I'm gonna open them! Beginning with this year's Prom King! Oh, it's Jasper Collins! Woo! Thank you, thanks. Um, this is totally cool, I guess. Here's your prom king crown, buddy. Oh, um, oh thanks, sir. How do I look? <laughs> but the question is, who will be your prom queen? Drum roll! Well, folks, uh, I must say, I, I, I cannot believe it. Prom Queen is Ruby Williamson. Woo! There's Isabella and Theo. Look at the smirk on her face. She did this. Um, guys, is anyone else getting serious carry vibes from this? Ladies and gentlemen, here she is! Pr Prom Queen, Ruby Williamson! Here's your crown, Ruby. I, I can't believe it. Thank you. Stop the music! You! Stop the music! Yes, Grace. Here we go. This is wrong! Can't you all see? This is wrong! Nobody likes Ruby! Nobody! Grace, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! She's stealing from me! She's stealing my moment! Oh, Jesus Christ, she's totally lost it. You all love me! I am your queen! All right, that's enough, Grace. <laughs> You know, I think that we are all a little bit tired of you bossing everybody around. You might not like it, but Ruby won fair and square, and I, for one, uh, would be honoured to share a dance with you, Ruby. No! You can't mean that, Jasper. Grace, grow the fuck up. This isn't right. I'm better than her. I work so hard to be better than her. I'm popular. She's a geek, and I won't let her win. Jasper! Yes, Grace? Take your plastic crown and slit your own throat with it. Yes, Grace. No! You! All of you, there! Kill Ruby Williamson! Yes, yes Grace. Grace. No! What do we do? Keep the exits open, get the student she hasn't got control of already out of here. Carl, get her! Don't run to me, fight her! But what about the other students? It's you and her. Everyone else is collateral. Prove you're stronger than her. Okay. This way! But what's going on? Get out of here now before Grace starts puppeting you all! Come on, now, all of you who are still normal, this way. <coughs> Ugh, stupid kids! 
Get away from me! Come on, Ruby. You're letting me down. Fight them. These are my classmates. I don't want to hurt them. But who are you? May I borrow that? Ruby, they are Grace's puppets. If you want to defeat Grace, if you want to survive, then you have to kill them too. I can't. They're, they're just kids. Of course you can. It's easy. Hey, dude, what the... <coughs> See? Piece of cake. Carl! Jesus Christ. Come on! Hurry! Hurry! Stay away from me, all of you. We're coming to get you, Ruby. She fights back! Get up! Get up! I can do this! God damn you! This is it, ladies and gentlemen! The prize fight! In the blue corner, we have the Queen of Mean, Grace Goodwin! And in the red corner, our snappy young underdog, Ruby Williamson! Carl! Do you want to see what else I can do? You lot! Charge her! Shh. Shit! Ouch! Grace's armies of puppets have got Ruby on the ropes! Oh, I bet that hurt! Carl, stop! Oh, come on! Don't spoil the fun! Way to go, Ruby! Look at that! Using those banners to tie up the crowd! But she's not killing them. There's still good in her. You really must get over this not killing equals good fallacy. <sighs> I'm bored now. Catch. I'm going to speak to Mother Marwood. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Isabella. Most of the students are out. What now? I need to go after Carl. James, those girls need you. He has the answers, I... James! I'm sorry, I have to. You have to stop them fighting. I'll get Carl. Oh, that son of a bitch. Come on. Watch out. Oh, thanks. Miss me, bitch. Ow. I am not above getting my own hands dirty. You should be. Stop. Please. I need to leave. I have little patience for Carl right now. Slow them down and then you know where to meet me, right? Hello, Isabella. Carl Trevino. It's been a long time. Indeed. Did you ever imagine we'd meet under such circumstances? Oh, don't flatter yourself. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. You always do. Like a bad penny. I must say, you really should share your skincare routine with me. You don't look a day older than when I was growing up in the orphanage. I moisturise. <laughs> All these years later, and your experiments still go on. How long now, Isabella? How many generations? Do you think just because you're pointing a gun at me that I'm going to spill all my secrets? Do you imagine it gives you some sort of power over me? Guns give you a power over a lot of things. Not over me. Pull your silly little trigger and see what happens. Mother Marwood. Don't worry, Theo. His bullets won't harm me. He is just a misguided fool with delusions of grandeur. Delusions? I excelled in your test, you will recall. The day I ran away from the orphanage must have killed you to lose so much progress. <laughs> Is that what you think? You're even more delusional than I thought. Is that why you sought me out? You clearly don't remember as well as you think you do. You're still bumbling around like James Hunter out there. James and I are very different. He's afraid to do what is necessary. I am not. I will get to the bottom of your scheme and I will take what I am owed. You and James always were a funny pair. The man who craves power but will never taste it. And the man who rejects power but will be forced to wield it. 
poetic. I've grown tired of your prattling old woman. All of your notes are in that suitcase. I don't need you alive. Now, Theo. No! <laughs> ah! Don't hold back, Theo. You won't kill me. <laughs> I wouldn't be so confident if I were you. <laughs> really? You're just a lapdog. I am a loyal servant of the truth. You are just an arrogant fool. Carl! You came to save me, James. I came to stop you from killing anyone else. Same end result. Us two against the bad guy. Just like old times. You may think you have the advantage due to your greater number. But I assure you, I am an agent of the truth and therefore I am blessed. You really can't let him get started. He'll just go on forever. I can see that. Do you think we can get any useful information out of him? No. He's just a lackey. Better to kill him. No! You idiot! <laughs> Your own tricks come back to bite you. Keep the table between us. Do not shoot him. You are painfully boring. I mean it. You put that gun away right now. You're an idiot. I'm out of here. What? You dare turn your back on a foe? Never on a worthy adversary. That description, unfortunately, does not apply to you. Theo. Theo, listen to me. You don't need to do this. His arrogance will be his downfall. You're not going to kill me? My orders were not to kill you. What? Mother Marwood does not wish you to come to harm. She feels you are useful. For now. Again, what? I too am disappointed. I have looked forward to savouring the smell of your blood on my blade since we first met. But I am a patient man. I will wait the right time. Theo, wait. Please tell me, what is Project Indigo? And what does it have to do with children? <laughs> uh, those answers aren't mine to give. Knowledge such as this cannot be given. It must be earned. I'm getting very tired of people talking in riddles. Running from me! Becky! Grab that fire extinguisher! No! Yes, Grace. Right her! Abigail! They're gonna tear each other apart! We need to stop them! Agreed! I've got Grace! Try and get close to Ruby! Okay! Do you know what your problem is, Grace? You can't conceive of the idea that anybody might be better than you. Nobody is better than me. Ruby! Ruby, listen to me! Please, you need to stop this! Stand aside! Ruby, please! I said stand aside! <laughs> Dan! I'm so sorry. Oh God, you're bleeding! Listen to me! What? Look into my eyes. Listen to me. No, no! Yes! Look at me. Listen to my voice. I said no. How are you doing that? How are you resisting? Do as I say. I survived having the voice of a demon in my head. You are nothing compared to that. Do you really think making me angry is the right move? Ah, oh, Grace, listen to me. What are you doing? Do you really think this is the best way to use your ability? What would you have me do? You could do so much convince people to work for environmental causes or not to pursue war. You could become an inspiration. I already will be an inspiration, duh! Nobody cares about all that boring better than the world crap. People care about glamour and wealth and follower counts. That's real power. And it's all mine for the taking. <laughs> I am the ultimate influencer. Now, obey. Ugh, help me. Oh good, I didn't miss the finale. Ruby, finish her off and let's go. But... Ruby, please, please save Abigail! I can't! 
Please! Grace, you'll kill her! This is all wrong. James said not to kill her. He said other people would get hurt, and they did. Look at the other students she used. Look at yourself. Your head is bleeding. James is wrong. You saw Grace. She doesn't have mercy. You need to stop her. He's right, Ruby. Not every problem can be solved with talking and feelings. It's a doggy dog world. You need to be ready to bite. Ah! Oh, I can't fight her. Those are lovely earrings you're wearing. Shall we see what happens if you pull them out? No! Please listen to me. Oh! Oh God! Mm, the DJ app. Nicely done. Ruby! Ruby, your nose! It's bleeding! I've never lifted anything that heavy before. Well done, Ruby. Your powers are growing already. Now, finish her. Stop! Grace, are you okay? I think my leg is broken. You bitch! I'll kill you for this! Oh, yeah? <sighs> Wait, 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 wait. Ruby, please, I am begging you. Show compassion. Show mercy. Don't be Isabella Marwood's puppet. Don't be Carl Trevino's puppet. Your speeches are almost as boring as Theo's. Do you know that, James? She won't stop, James. What? Are you siding with him? No, I'm not. But think about this. What do we do with her? How can we take care of her in a way that doesn't involve killing her? What do you mean? Even if we can convince a jury that a 16-year-old girl was able to mind control a bunch of people, how do you lock up somebody who can literally tell the guard to let them back out? Dan, no. I don't like it any more than you do, but I'm being a pragmatist here. If there are any other ideas, I'm open to them. There is no other way. This is Project Indica. Only the strongest survive. I don't want to kill her. You don't have to, Ruby. Dan, please, we have to find another way. You're all talking about me like I'm not here. None of you are listening to me. What do you have to say? Will you stop this? Will you please see sense? See that nothing is gained through violence? Please, Grace, we're listening now. Ruby. Yes? Stop breathing. She can't breathe! No, no, no! Suffocate, you bitch! Help! Me! Me! Grace! Stop! Please! Let her go, Grace! Stop it! Just stop it! did you do? I ended this charade. You've disappointed me, Ruby. It appears I'm surrounded by weaklings. Come on. You have much more to learn. Carl! Don't even think of following me. I'm starting to think you're a lost cause, James, truly. Abigail, Dan, word of advice. The fool who clings too closely to his morality will only drag down those around him. Until next time. What do we do now? The police will be here any moment. We need to wait and explain. They won't believe us. We can't just run away. Let me see your head. It's fine. She just clipped me with the extinguisher. Abby, come on, you know I'm right. We have to get out of here. There's no reasonable explanation for why we're here with a dead teenager. I know, but we can't run. How long were we in there? Nearly 12 hours. I don't understand why they're letting us go. I mean, I know we didn't do anything wrong, but... They said a witness came forward and cleared us. But they wouldn't tell you who? No. But it must have been someone with influence to be able to convince them to let us go after everything that happened. Sounds like we've got a friend out there. Maybe. Where to now? We need to find Carl. I need to know about Project Indigo. 
I need to know what they did to us, what they're still doing to other children. Okay, whatever we do, I just, I need some sleep first. Come on, let's find a hotel. Problem, deputy? You need to sort yourself out. Excuse me? She won't say it because you're her hero, so I will. What you did back there was terrible. Abandoning those girls. Abandoning Abigail so that you could chase after Carl. He knows about Project In- no, I don't care, James. This obsession with him has to stop. It's putting Abigail in danger. It put those two girls in danger. Grace might not have died if you hadn't have run off. You make all the big speeches you want about morality and ethics, but when it came down to the wire, you chose chasing your revenge over helping people. So quit looking down on everyone else. And quit being soft on Carl. Why, Deputy, I almost think you don't trust me. I don't. I don't know what it is yet, but something about you is bullshit. And I will work out what it is. Abigail, wait up. Oh, Dan. You have no idea. Starring Jamie Evans as James Hunter, Isabella Barbieri as Abigail Corbin, and Luke Hunter as Dan Cowell. Also featuring Phoebe Elizabeth Royal, Elliot Bigdon, Tom McCarthy, Megan Rose Buxton, Eve Oliver, Benton Hodges, Edina Hadley, David Anthony Green, Shayla Tharp, Harry McElroy, and David Gardner as Carl Trevino. Haunted, the audio drama, is created by Jamie Evans, with all episodes produced and directed by Jamie Evans and Benton Hodges. Audio engineering by Benton Hodges and Jamie Evans. Haunted is a production of Impala Films and is recorded at Free Sprite Media Studios, with special thanks to Duncan Newham for equipment support. Opening and closing themes by James Crow. Thank you for listening to this audio presentation. Come back next week for the next exciting chapter of Haunted, the audio drama.